What's up guys? Trying to get this uh, headset on. Got a seminar right now. Welcome to uh, the Down Under vlog. I don't even know what this is, part three or four. But we got a seminar right now here at the Gymshark event. Day two here. Seminar is all about habits. I'm just gonna go wing it. I made a little note, I made a little outline right there. Good to go. I gotta get my Tony Robbins on. My Tony Robbins on. Okay, let's go. Yo, yo. How's everyone doing today? Day two here in Sydney. Y'all showed up today. How you guys doing? Of the 
equation. How many of us brushed our teeth this morning? Am I ready to raise your hands? Yes? That's pretty good. How much of you guys did out of company too? You didn't raise your hand there for a second. I'm worried here. I have some gum in my bag if you need it. You don't think about brushing your teeth because it's a habit. We do it, we've done it since, you know, our moms and dads. You can say mom over here, I'm really trying to be healthy, so I'm trying to show them some vernacular there. Since our parents, you know, have taught us that when we were kids. You wake up, before school you brush your teeth, before you go to bed, you brush your teeth. And if you're really on top of it, you're flossing that shit. You're flossing that. <laughs> so, we don't have to think about that, because it's a habit. How many of us have other habits that we do every day? Whether it's taking out, I don't, I don't even know, getting dressed is a habit. But self-control, every decision that we make, what clothes we wear, what we're going to work out that day, when we leave, you know, if we're going to hang out with friends, all these decisions start affecting us, and they start chipping away at our self-control. By the end of the day, we don't have any left of the things we really want to accomplish, like working out and sticking to our years resolutions. So creating a habit, first things first, what is your why? Why do you want to change? Why do you want to go to the gym every day? Why do you want to transform? Is it extrinsic or intrinsic? You need to first identify that. Extrinsic motivation comes from outside forces. It might be, you know, you want to change because you went through a, a breakup and you want to get shredded or you want to grow that booty and, you know, get noticed by the opposite sex. You might, it might be because you have kids and you want to do it for them. Both motivation factors great and important. Both are going to really push us to do things that we would, might not otherwise do. But those extrinsic, those extrinsic goals, when you lay your head on the pillow at night, those are the goals that are going to really keep us going. Those are the things, those thoughts, those habits, that when you think about why I'm doing this habit or why I'm trying to create it, those extrinsic factors will carry you further, science shows, will carry you further than just extrinsic alone. So it's great to have both, but make sure, make sure you identify your why. Because without your why, when that going gets tough, you're going to inevitably shut down, fail, end up starting over, starting over, starting over. So identify that why. Next thing, you identify that why, you know why you want it so bad more than anything you wanted in your life. You're telling people about it. I'm going to do this. I want it bad. The next thing you do, most people try to change their whole life in a day. They work out, they work out for two hours in the gym, they drink their gallon of water, they eat their perfect chicken and rice, their eggs or goobs, as you guys say. Who ever says goobs to you? That's a weird ass word. That doesn't sound good for eggs, but it's good. Not a lot of often called eggs goobs. So you, you eat all the food you're supposed to, and there's like five or six things in that one day that you change, and you feel great. But to do it day in and day out, day in, it's not doable. Change one thing at a time. So it might be, hey, I want to go to the gym. The gym, that's where I'm going to change. It might be nutrition. Pick one thing. If you're going to the gym, do it every single day. That's the third thing. Do it every single day. Even if it's just 20 minutes, by creating that habit, something 60 out of the 66 days and expect to create this awesome habit. You have to do it every single day. So show up, even if it's just 20 minutes to the gym. Ride that bike, foam roll, stretch out. But what you're doing is you're creating this habit. Your mind is automatically saying, oh, it's 4 o'clock, this is the time we do it. Also, do things earlier, earlier in the day. Do things that matter most first. So whatever it is in your life that you value most, do it first in your day when you have the most willpower. Until you create that habit to where you're just automatically doing, it's a non-negotiable, you're gonna show up no matter what. Until you have that habit, do it first thing. Because again, it's easy at 5 p.m. to say, hey, I have this other thing. I made this other arrangement. Traffic's too bad. This came up at work. I gotta get this email out. Too easy for those excuses. There's very few excuses at six o'clock in the morning. Very few excuses. So make sure you set yourself up for success by doing, having a routine and doing it every single day. The next thing, write it down. Write it down and look upon it often. It could be sticky notes. It could be a journal. You know, I have, we have an app. I love my app. I love getting on my phone and seeing what I'm doing, but there's nothing that takes the place of physically writing down how you felt that day, how you felt after your workout, and the 
really on top of it, I write my totals down in my notebook of how many calories I ate, how many protein, carbs, and fat. We'll talk about that here in a minute. I don't want to get overwhelmed. But you, you pick that one thing that you're doing. If it's working out, write it down in a notebook. Write out, give yourself a score that day on how you did. If it, you know, if you weren't really feeling it, if you only went to the gym for that 20 minutes, that's okay. Write down, hey, 20 minutes in the gym. I still went. Be imperfect. 
see what happens. Allow yourself to pat yourself on the back. And allow yourself to say, hey, you know, today I didn't get the job done, but that's okay. Tomorrow is a new day. Tomorrow is what happens in this new year's resolution. It's going to set a new goal. They mess up Monday. For some reason, and I me mean included, we think having a bite of that, or having one, you know, chocolate chip, delicious ice cream sandwich. If you cheated on your diet, you might as well eat the whole damn box. I've been there. One Oreo, whole freaking Oreo pack. One thing of Tim Tams leads to every single day of Tim Tam that anyone has ever given me. I remember being in Australia like three years ago, people came to these things, gave me a bunch of Tim Tams. I ate one, I was in this, like, in this process of I should be perfect, I should eat Tim Tams.